What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at a Whitestone Dome UV Gen film protector for your S23 Ultra and the number one thing that I do with any device is always throw on one of these screen protectors because they're definitely the best in my opinion. I'm going to install the UV Gen film which is basically a no fuss no glue type of screen protector but for those of you that like a little bit more durability I am going to install the tempered glass after I do this one and I'll leave a link for this video down in my description as well as a link that's going to pop up but it's all about the UV Gen film at the moment because a lot of people just want a simpler way to install a screen protector to protect your screen from getting scratched up. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what we get inside of the box here. We get everything we need for a two times installation, but there is no glue, you notice. There's nothing messy about this installation. If you've ever installed a PET screen protector, this process is gonna be basically the same, except we are gonna cure it using the UV light, which Whitestone Dome says is gonna make this a little bit stronger than, than a regular plastic screen protector. And it also means it's gonna to bond to your phone a little bit better. So let's go ahead and check out the eight step process together. So let me just get my necessary items for the one pack. Let's go ahead and start with the first process, which is get out this little, little tray here that's gonna help align that screen protector on the front. And all you have to do is place it on the USB-C port on the bottom with the two pins facing up. Next, we wanna go ahead and clean the device. Go ahead and wipe down your device, making sure there's no dust particles on it. So let's just do a little wipe down. If you see any dust particles that remain, go ahead and get one of your stickers and just kind of pluck them off your device. Once we get our screen protector, remove the back, move the back film from it and go ahead and line it up with the, with the little pins on the bottom, just like this. And make sure that it's aligned properly. You can see my camera is nicely aligned. Check it twice before we do the next step. Just go ahead and place your finger on the bottom so you can kind of peel the, peel the protector off from the adapter. And next, remove the adapter and put it to the side. The next thing that you wanna do is get your squeegee, place it on the paste start line, and lift back the top of the, the screen protector here until you see the bottom film come off. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and press the screen protector onto your phone just kind of making sure there's no air bubbles along the way. Don't be afraid with this one, guys. Just go ahead and do your best. If there are any air bubbles, they should go away within a day or so. So just kind of gently go ahead and press the screen protector on, just like so. And if you do see any, any little bubbles along the way, gently, gently press it. Now we want to do the same for the bottom. Go ahead and get your squeegee once again. Place it on the paste start line and then fold back your screen protector about 180 degrees until you see that flap come apart. And then go ahead and lightly press it once again, just like so. So at this point, you should have your screen protector perfectly aligned all on your screen, just like so. Next, what you want to do is firmly with your finger, just kind of press it along the edges and the bottom and the top just to ensure that the screen protector is fully covering your screen. So just go ahead and do that. Now that we've gone ahead and firmly pressed all the sides, the top and the bottom, now you can remove this front film and then start the curing process. So what I like to do is put the squeegee right in the middle as we pull off this film. Just make sure not to pull too much because you don't want to pull the bottom protector off as well. Usually that doesn't happen. It's better to be safe than sorry. So now that we have this all done, you can see the installation is pretty, pretty nice. Now it's time to cure our device with the included UV light. Now what you want to do is cure the top, the middle and the bottom for 60 seconds. So just press this button twice. If you don't need a separate timer, it's gonna do it all by itself automatically. And again, you can see the benefit to using the UV gem film versus the regular Whitestone Dome tempered glass. It's not as messy, it's not as involved. The installation really only takes about three minutes. So once you cure it for 60 seconds for the top, middle and bottom, you're basically done. So this is it. This is the UV Gen screen protector and you can see how easy it was to install. Super, super easy. Now you do have this line in the middle that should go away in about a day or so. And I do see that I have a little bit of dust right at the top there. So just make sure that you do ensure that you don't have any dust before you begin this process. That's really not going to bother me all that much. But again, I think this is a nice installation. If you're worried more about scratches and whatnot, this is a nice, easy installation for you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. The next video I'm gonna do is about the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector. So make sure to check out this video. It's gonna be up in the next day or so. 
But this is it. Whitestone Dome's UV Gen is for those of you that just want a quick installation when it comes to a screen protector and you're more worried about scratches than drops. This is the UV Gen screen protector. Thanks for watching. Catch you in another video. Thank you.